Hello, I'm here to talk about colour blindness. You see, not many people give it a thought. Why would they? But we all need to, especially in football. Colour blindness, or colour vision deficiency to give it its proper name, is the inability to see colours normally. Here's the science bit. We see colour through three types of specialised nerve cells called cones. These cones absorb red, blue and green light. They work together to enable us to see a full rainbow of colour. But in colour blindness, one cone cell doesn't function properly or at all. So many colours look the same. Did you know it's one of the world's most common genetic conditions? Approximately 1 in 12 men inherit colour blindness, but only 1 in 200 women do. That's because, genetically speaking, it's carried on the X chromosome. About 300 million people worldwide have some form of colour blindness. That's equivalent to the population of the USA. But let's keep this on home ground. In the UK, there are almost 3 million colour blind people. That's enough to fill Wembley Stadium's 90,000 seats more than 30 times. Or, put another way, in a full Wembley, at least 5,500 spectators will be colour blind. So being able to see the team on the left playing in an all red kit could be a huge issue. And it's not just spectators. Colour blindness can affect anyone involved in football. Players, management, volunteers, coaches, referees, match officials, anyone. But does it really matter? It's not a major problem, is it? Well, maybe not for you. But look at it from our perspective. There are tens of thousands of clubs in England playing football every week, with thousands of kits between them. For those with colour vision deficiency, that means plenty of opportunity for colour clashes. And it's not just the kids. It's equipment like bibs, cones, flags and line markings, facilities and signage, merchandise, accessing information like buying tickets online and even TV coverage. It's enough to put you off having anything to do with football. But it doesn't have to be this way. If you're aware of colour vision deficiency, you can help prevent these problems in the first place. All I'm asking is that you consider colour when choosing your kit combination for your team, your football equipment, your venue, and even the information online. It's not rocket science, these are easy fixes. In fact, knowing about and making small changes like these can make a big difference to the enjoyment and involvement of people like your children, your mates, your players, and your fans. As the nation's favorite game, Football has the perfect opportunity to lead the way for other sports and society in general. Now, after all that, how can you not do something? <laughs>